Welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room and it's cheers to you because I am going to show you today how to make this um, wine bottle gift wrapping, gift present presentation. This is a bit of a bonus video for you because I don't usually do videos on a Thursday um, but we are celebrating with the wine because we have a brand new autumn winter catalogue from Stampin' Up. Now the reason I'm not sharing that in detail today um, is because all my lovely ladies are coming along for my big annual customer thank you party on Saturday so I don't want to spoil it for them um, but I will be back on Saturday with a video to show you lots from that autumn winter catalogue. But today we're celebrating with Tuscan Vineyard and a bonus video for you. So let's get started. Um, to make the wine bottle um, wrap or gift packaging, I've got a piece of um, elegant eggplant um, cardstock. Now this is A4 length, which is actually 11 and 6 eighths of an inch if you are um, on imperial measurements. And then we have scored at five and a quarter Turn it around that way, so that'll be five and a quarter, six and three quarters, and eight and a quarter. So that's where those, can you see those three scores are? Now to make the hole for the wine, I'm actually um, folding that in half on that middle score, and I'm using a one and three eighths um, hole punch, and I'm just going to line that up with half make sure that's about even each side and I'm going to go ahead and punch and that will make our hole for the wine bottle. Just check when you're doing this, if you're doing it for um, champagne or something you might need a, a larger hole, just check the top of your wine bottle to see the size you need. I've gone a little larger there, I could have gone slightly smaller but that will, that will work fine. The other thing I need to do while I'm punching is to take um, a small um, punch for securing the ribbon. And though the, the ribbon is just going to go on the back, we're going to put holes to thread this through on the back. On the front, it's going to go just about, again, not a particular measurement, but about one and a half um, from the bottom. Um, on the front they're going to go underneath the label. Let me just show you here what I'm talking about so we don't need to punch the front. Okay, so we'll set that aside and do our stamping. Now the stamps that I'm using is Tuscan Vineyard. These are beautiful images and I'll show you another couple of projects at the end that I have um, done with, with these. And I'm going to start off by stamping on a narrow piece of very vanilla. And um, I have my, all my measurements here. So this small layer of very vanilla is four and a half by one and three quarter inches. And I'm stamping in stays on. And I'm going to do this fairly near the top. And look at the detail on there. Just beautiful. Now to colour this in, I'm going to use inks and aqua painters. So if you just squeeze the lid of your Stampin' Up! ink pad, this one is um, the Old Olive. This is an aqua painter, so I've got a little water in the barrel, um, which I'm just squeezing and mixing in with that um, uh, water-based ink. And I'm going to go ahead and colour these in paint these in. Now you don't, this is water colouring, do not panic if you go over the lines, that's okay. Obviously you would probably take a little longer than I am for the purposes of this video, but just to show you. So easy because all of that drawing is already on there, so easy just to add a little colour. And just take a scrap piece here and to clean your brush just give it a little squeeze to get the um, to get the, the extra green out of there and then I'm going to use elegant eggplant 
and I'm also going to use some cherry cobbler and how I'll do that is to take some of the cherry cobbler and mix it in there with some of the elegant eggplant until I get a nice red grapey colour there and then start to colour my grapes in and what's quite nice about this is you know you can just work away at it um, I'm using very vanilla here which will take a certain amount of water if you want to do a lot of water coloring you know come back again and again I'm just adding a little bit there of the a bit more of the red to some of those grapes if you want to come back again and again and, and work um, work with the color what I would suggest is to use watercolor paper or our shimmery white paper also takes ink well or even actually our thick whisper white uh, will take water a little bit better um, than the the regular cardstock but for my purposes that has worked just fine pretty okay so my other layers I've got um, this is five inches by two and a quarter in very vanilla then I have a layer of um, the elegant eggplant at five inches by two inches now what I'm doing is I'm going to take my um, ba uh, triple banner punch and the two inches the widest um, measurement that this will take so I'm pushing that all the way in and punching and that piece is going to um, sit on there so just reaching for my Tombow glue we'll pop that on Now my top piece, um, I could do that again with, with the punch, but what I'm going to do, just to give it a little bit of, of interest, is to tear. My ladies will be saying, oh, surely you're not tearing. I struggle to tear cardstock. <laughs> it's a bit scary. Um, and I'm going to put that on the front um, with the ribbon underneath. So in order to do that easily, I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back leaving a nice big gap in the middle to feed my ribbon under but I'll put the ribbon on first as you'll see and then just stick that piece on last so the ribbon um, I'm using is the gold um, 1 8 inch ribbon and I want the ribbon to show on the outside at the back so I'm just going to feed that round now what I would suggest is again because of depending on the size of your bottle um, just leave this on the reel and pop it over your bottle so we'll just do that with this one here just take this one over so pop it over your bottle and then you can then see how much you need but what I'll do is I'll do mine it's going to be roughly there give you a, a rough idea of how long that is try not to what to put my wine bottle off the table uh, so that is 16 that's about 22 inches um, I've, I've used of that um, ribbon so this piece here I'm going to actually glue onto the front of the holder we've got the bottle here we might as well just do the whole piece in situ so I'm just going to glue that straight onto the front then my ribbon is going to go round like so and then we'll put this piece over the top like that and then we can tie our bow at the side and you can fiddle around with this to to make a perfect bow but that will do for the time being so that's how it's going to sit we just want a little greeting here so I've got a strip that is um, three quarters of an inch by two and three quarters 
and I'm going to stamp, I'm actually going to use the greeting from Feather Together and I've got thank you for all you do. And we're just going to stamp that onto that piece there. And good glue, but I'm just going to pop that up again with a couple of dimensionals. onto the front piece of my bottle. So there you go. Very easy but makes such a difference when you're presenting um, a bottle of wine to somebody. Now a couple more cards made with the um, the Tuscan vineyard. So here I've used a very similar sort of um, idea with um, just the torn layers, a little bit of the linen thread across here. Now here are the little corks. This is from that um, stamp set. I've stamped those onto a piece of crumb cake um, in the black ink and just daubed the edges having, having trimmed those out. And they do look really kind of 3D. I've popped them up with some dimensionals. Completely different look here. Um, I've gone for a much more kind of rustic looking image. I've used the burlap ribbon um, on a crumb cake and vanilla card and just daubed around the edges um, of, the, of the layer. So, some projects for you to try using the Tuscan Vineyard stamp set. I'll be back on Saturday to show you what it is or some of what my lovely ladies are going to be seeing at my annual customer thank you party. I look forward to welcoming you back then. Thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room. Love.